I'm Liliana Botnaru. I'm a co-founder of uh, EcoVillage Moldova. For me personally, it's a home that um, I'm quite happy to live in. Um, kind of the, what, what I envisioned, uh, um, where would I want my family to uh, uh, live, you know, what type of kind of food I would want my kids to uh, eat, uh, that kind of uh, is. But it's also uh, for me an inspiration to see um, how many people actually care about the environment, how many people are putting an effort uh, into bringing changes in communities. The project started from an initiative uh, of several people that felt motivated to do something uh, about changing their own lifestyle and uh, trying to create a hub where some of the eco practices um, could be applied, experimented with and uh, promoted uh, on a larger uh, scale. When we bought the piece of land, we would uh, try to organize uh, volunteer days or different practical workshops. So we would post on Facebook and invite anybody who would want to um, join to sign up and, and participatory approach offers a chance uh, to build on the larger capacities that already exist in the community. It increases ownership also of um, people because, uh, to be true, we were foreigners for this village because uh, we came from the city and we didn't grow up in this village, we didn't know many cultural aspects and so on. So um, it was important for us, community integration and so on. I think one of the uh, main influences uh, not only for community in Rishkov, but for many people, what I hear from participants that, that come is um, having concrete, specific examples um, that speak for themselves. Help people uh, see that there are practices that do work in Moldova and there are families that apply uh, certain uh, uh, eco-practices in Moldova and they work. So that gave a little more maybe courage to try themselves and uh, maybe a little more hope that, oh, there are some uh, good examples in Moldova that we don't need to always look outside across the border. We can focus on developing our country and, and um, uniting um, efforts and resources. And in Ryshkova in particular, there are uh, a number of examples that I have seen from people changing some of the ways they grow um, food. Uh, I know some examples of uh, people that have built a solar dehydrator, for example, um, for drying fruits and vegetables. Uh, some people that uh, tried uh, to opt for eco-materials when they were building their house, so like clay plastering and so on. Some people that invested in uh, insulation, so examples like that. I wouldn't say that it's a huge uh, impact, but even seeing you know, maybe less waste on, on the street, more trees um, around. Uh, by this year there are at least 10 hectares of, of um, uh, uh, trees planted uh, in Rishkova uh, of, uh, yeah, that are new. We'll see how many trees will actually survive because it's, you know, public um, uh, land, but it's a slow progression.